I'll now demonstrate how to make crossword exercises. The exercises are meant to follow a video and text from Friendly Robotics called Robomo. So I have already stored that video and text in the directory called Exercises 1 on the C drive. And this is also where I will now store the new exercises. I click on the J cross potato to launch the program. The first step is to save it in the directory that I have made ready. The exercises one directory. I'll call the file cross one. And this is not the final file, but this is the data file that can be used for later on editing and changing the, the actual crossword. I also want from the beginning to ensure that I have the navigation set right in the program. So I go up to the bottoms where there is a set to configuration screen button. And there I want to have a look at the next exercise. My next exercise I have decided will be called match one. M A T C eight one dot htm. I want to have a contents button that will link to an index.htm and there will be a back button. I will now click save and OK. Usually the most difficult thing when creating crossword exercises is to create the actual grid. But in hot potatoes that can be done automatically. I have to click on the make a grid button there. And then I will enter the words that I want in the crossword. I start with writing automatically. And I have already made the, the other words ready there. So now I have a list of words. And all I have to do now is to click on make the grid. And there it is. And of course there will be no crossword without some clues, so the student knows what to type in. So I add the clues. The first clue is for the word automatically, and I type in opposite of manually. Okay. The next clue is for the word safe. I here type in not dangerous and click OK. I just need to continue this process for all the words. I've completed all the words across. I take the do the same with the words down completely fully. When I have completed all the descriptions, I click on the green OK button. It is now time to save again. And I can see the result by clicking the web grid. I will call it cross1 and it is HTML, it is an HTML file. And I can view it in my browser. I have to permit it to show it. Yes, and there it is. I just try one of them. I click on free. A patch of grass, a lawn. Enter. Six. Not dangerous. I can get a hint. Safe. Yep. I click enter. I now have three files saved in the exercises one file area. The cross one, which is the one I've just made. The cross one, which is a data file that has all the information about the crossword, where I can go in and edit words. The index underscore en, which is a text and video file that will link 
to the cross file, cross one file. But I would also like to have an overall index file that can be used for navigation. A simple index page could be used for navigation. This one is made with front page. I need to save it first of all in the directory. And it will have to be this computer, local disk, exercises 1, and this is where it belongs. Index. I want to link to the pools website in the first link. I type in 3W languages.dk. Right. Then I want to link to the video and text dealing with friendly robotics, the Robomo. That is the one called index EN there. And the exercise A, the crossword exercise. That is the one called cross one. So now I have a navigation document or navigation HTML page that can be used. The resulting page, which is very simple, links to the Pools website, goes to the friendly robotic video and text. Let's try that. If I go back, the crossword exercise that we just made, there it is.